Hello and welcome 075 here again and uh, this time it's just a very short uh, video uh, to take you around the roads of near where I live um, in Sussex, near Sean by Sea, um, up to Henfield, uh, heading up towards Devil's Dyke, then back again um, and then through uh, sort of like you know Falking, Poinings um, around that area as well so but yeah come and join me for a quick little ride and I've also got some news for you as well Welcome along to another video. Today just taking a, a very short local route um, around the Downs just to get out for an hour or so. It's a route that I really do like because there's not so much traffic. Um, it's quite little you know, A stroke B roads and then goes back across to the back of uh, Devil's Dyke. Just thought you'd like to come along for a ride with me. A lot of things have been happening over the last like, few weeks. Firstly, um, had a lot of positive results and that from the very first uh, Berry Hill to Bexhill run. Um, that was really enjoyable by many. I think we'll just stick with run route uh, for next year. No one really wanted to do the dual carriageways that down there and if anybody did, well then that's cho their choice. Um, but we'll just fix down to one route for next year. So uh, yeah, do check out our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Berry Hill to Bexhill Run. Yeah, we've we'll just come up the A283. Now we'll pick up the A281, I believe this is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just a local. <laughs> Sorry, small goal to Henfield A2037. Over the back uh, near Stenning and Upper Beeding, we're going to go up towards uh, Small Knoll and then we're going to hook over the back of the Downs to Falking. Oh, we're going to turn right here and it'll take us up to Tottenham Manor. Quite country road down Sussex. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. He's, he's got to carry on as he hasn't seen me. Give us room, mate. 
gosh, truth. He really didn't see me. Right, let's, do, let's go up to Devil's Dyke and then we'll just do come back and walk. So this will be the short route if I wanted to go up Devil's Dyke. Let's take this little shortcut through here. tricky corner this one so I'll just position myself so I'll get really lying straight up get a steep hill bought some new trousers this time I bought from Bullet uh, because of the Kovec uh, protective anti-abrasion qualities I did have uh, Kevlar jeans um, but uh, they're not expanding with my waistline Let's go back left. This is coming back up the way we came, so I've just done a bit of a bit of a loop. Okay, road's clear. It's just a bit of an awkward corner that one. Let's get behind on the back of the downs and get away from this wind. This is a cracking little road. Never underestimate it. Try over towards Henfield. So what else has been happening recently? Um, got in touch with uh, Bike Eyes. Uh, Bike Eyes, uh, they provide tracking solutions and they're trying to get into the motorcycle market. They've been going around for about 20 years or so, um, but in recent months um, trying to produce a, an affordable tracking solution for uh, motorcyclists. Um, intrigued, I've dropped them a line and they've been kind enough to send me one for a long term review for you. So uh, do subscribe, click that bell, it'll be good to have you along to see how we get on with that, uh, with that product. So what bike do I ride? Well, it's the KTM 990SMT, uh, 1000cc V-twin and it is just an epic bike, I've had it for near on 10 years and even though I'm fortunate enough to ride other motorcycles I haven't found one which ticks all the boxes as much as this one still does It's quick off the mark if you need it, it's great for touring It's fantastic around the twisties um, it's a it's a fantastic all-round bike. I would not want to sort of like change it for anything else So if I'm likely to, to uh, buy another bike, it wouldn't be in replacement for this. I'll still keep this Just simply love it too much 
In fact, my brother, he's got one too. Both of us, nine and a half years old, and still use them to take them on touring, um, you know, overnighters, even for like a short ride out. They're just such a pleasure to ride. So what's our big news this year? Where are we going for our trip, our annual trip? Well, it's the reason why I bought another second GoPro Hero camera, Hero 7 Black. It's because we're going to the Picos to Europa. And it'd be good to have you along. Do like and follow us out on Facebook forward slash 075 UK where we hope to uh, post up you know daily daily live videos and that in the evening maybe if Wi-Fi and connection allows uh, but certainly a collection of uh, full vids and that when I get back it might be a few weeks before I can get them up because I've got a heavy workload when I get back home but yeah end of September we're taking the ferry from Portsmouth down to Bilbao which is a two night stop but it doesn't bother us too much because it leaves Sunday evening stopped off in Roscoff on the, on the uh, Monday morning and then lands in Bilbao Tuesday morning where we have a full day's riding ahead of us. I'm hoping to get the photos about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and then time for a quick dip in the pool. Got four days there, yeah, the Tuesday, then the Wednesday, Thursday and the Friday and then heading back on the Saturday evening and then back home Sunday evening. So we're really making a full week of, uh, of riding the Picos. My brother and I, we rode them briefly last year, like one day, and we, and we thought they were absolutely epic. And we said to ourselves then, we have to come back and really explore them. You know, I've been watching other videos. I mean, we were inspired, to be fair, with uh, Teapot One and Richie Vida. So thank you guys for that. Hope to meet you actually one day uh, because it's your fault we're going. It was your fault that we went like last year, and it's your fault that we're going again this year. So thank you. Yeah, there's three of us going this time around. There's me and my brother and a friend of ours, Dave. Dave rides a Triumph Explorer. My brother and I obviously on the SMTs and we are looking forward an epic week ahead. So, yeah, the countdown has begun. So if you want to sort of like tune into our travels, we're on Facebook, 075 UK, you'll find us there, where we hope to see some live feeds. And we'll do a full suite of videos upon our return. Hence the reason why I've got another GoPro 7 camera. It's costing me a fortune, chaps! But it's worth it. So excited. It's countdown time now. So what else do I have to mention? Oh yeah, I've teamed up with uh, South East Biker magazine. It's a regional magazine for the South East of England. Um, you can read it online, wherever you are. Uh, just head down to southeastbiker.co.uk um, You should be able to read online magazines. It's, it's a biker magazine written by bikers, for bikers and uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to be a part of it. So thank you to the publisher. You know, I've put my little uh, you know, little reviews of that in there in written form and online you get to see the, uh, the YouTube videos as well. So yeah, do check them out. If you want to follow, uh, obviously, South East Biker and that on Facebook, forward slash South East Biker. There'll be more reviews and write-ups from me. Um, yeah, so whatever I do here can be read and be found in the magazine too. So yeah, it's good to team up with South East Biker magazine. Thank you, chaps.
sure of sure of what I see. Well there's our news, we're going to Spain next month and we can't wait. If you like what we're doing, uh, do subscribe and smash that bell, your subscription will be greatly appreciated. So until next time, thank you for watching. <laughs>